What's up guys, Ryan Rick, welcome back. Fast Electronic Loud, bringing to you Fast Electronic. And of course, Loud, today we are looking at the iPhone 6, the 64 gigabyte in gold available for AT&T. Let's take a first look, first impressions at this highly anticipated, most wanted phone of the season. So we'll just take out our little unboxing iPhone. It's actually not too little. We'll make a couple cuts here. I know it looks like kind of the tape's already busted off there. We can get this last piece busted there. Set our unboxing knife off to the side, and we can reveal the iPhone 6. This is uh, the 64 gig in gold. You can see now on the front, it's just the all white front on the case, which makes it kind of hard to actually film. I'm actually doing this live because it is so white and bright. So, but you can see on the side here, iPhone. This is, like we said, the iPhone 6 for at and This is the gold, the 64 gig model. So let's uh, take the unboxing knife again here. Make a couple cuts. I love, this is my favorite part, to just take the plastic, be precise with it, and keep it intact because generally I usually sell my old devices and I like to keep everything nice and clean. So now that we have that, I'm not going to make the mistake like that kid did, a poor kid that dropped his iPhone as soon as he opened it. It's such a horrible thing for him. But now we can pull it out. There is the phone in its beauty. That's like I said, the iPhone 6, 64 gig in gold for AT&T. You can see the color there, pretty bright, pretty shiny. I own the iPhone 5S now, 32 gig gold. So, and uh, in future videos, make sure you're subscribed. I'll be showing you guys plenty of coverage on the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, as well as covering, comparing between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5S. So, we can go ahead and lift this panel here. The typical information, which is always included with Apple, is going to be like a little setup guide generally we get some stickers so we can actually open that up and this welcomes us to our iPhone 6 little warranty information and classic Apple stickers thank you very much you can never have too many Apple stickers additionally inside typical layout with any iPhone recently we're gonna have the USB to lightning cable that is supplied we are also going to have the power brick so in this particular model with the iPhone 6 if anybody's asking I'm trying to look closely it's just so small and so hard to read I believe it is a 5 volt yep it is a 5 volt just check the bottom of it so that's a 5 volt one there and then we got the ear pods so that's what is included inside you know we got that little plastic panel there so we can kind of set that stuff off that's not real too exciting you know everybody has the cables we got the plastic on it we'll go ahead and uh, just take a look at it here with the sleekness of it if for anybody that owns an iPod touch fifth generation it has that same very feel to it right now uh, very thin petite the curved edges I mean I have the iPhone 5s right here 32 gig and then here is the iPhone 6 right next to it so you can see clearly how much larger the two are compared to each other so Pretty good size, um, pretty good size comparison. I mean, the iPhone 5S sits on top of that now, so you guys can see that. Kind of dwarfs that a little bit there. But just wanted to show you that initially, what it feels like. I mean, you can see this in my hand now. There's the 5S. And then we can look at the 6 in my hand. Feels a lot better, feels bigger. For anybody that's owned a Galaxy or picked up a Galaxy, that's the first thing I think of right now is a thinner Galaxy or an Android device. So move this off to the side here. We've still got our lightning port on the bottom. We still have our headphones and speaker. We've got our front facing camera and sensor. We have the new EyeSight camera. And a lot of people you know, talked about it being protruding and things like that. The protruding I'm sure is due to the thinness and all the guts that's behind like the screen, the board, the glass, the camera itself and all the pieces that can make up the camera. So the protrusion's been there already with like iPod Touch 5th Gen when they got thin like this. You've still got your volume up and down here on the side. And you've still got your rocker switch. So you can see at the gold, you still have some of the white that continues around the sides. Kind of nice little accents right here. Just around the back, the front, and the side. I think first impressions, picking the phone up, holding it, comparing the two in my hand here. This was my daily driver. This will now become my daily driver. Very excited to sh obviously shoot more video and show you guys more features of this, but overall the feel of the phone, I already can tell I'm going to love it. I'm very excited about it. And I'm very excited about, you know, making more videos for you guys. 
and just checking everything out and you know checking out all the new features new toys new everything and you can see here one thing that's different about you can look on top here you got your iphone 5s you know had your power button you can see now that that is basically not there anymore on the iphone 6. the reason is was due to the size of the screen and how you would reach it apple felt it was more important to put it here on the side so that is a minor change when you look at like the sim card tray on the iPhone 5S right here. And then you've got your SIM card tray still right here, the same on the 6, but you now have your power button. So some people might be looking, where's the power button at? It's actually down here on the side now, so opposite of your rocker and your volume there. So we can go ahead and fire that up. You guys can take a first look at its boot up sequence, see how quick it is. This is in real time, so like I said, tune in for all the coverage on this. I'll be bringing you plenty more like comparing iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 specs as well as I'll have the iPhone 6 Plus. Also, I have something very special for you later tonight that is a must-have accessory for any of these devices, especially after today when you see this. So make sure, like I said, you're tuned in and you subscribe to that. But as this boots up there, we got the Hola, welcome to the classic screen there. And I'm going to leave the plastic on for just a little bit because I'm just in awe and I'm an OCD of just how amazing the phone is and I love to keep the plastic on it first but it says hello you know and that's the typical setup there where we can just run through in, you know your language whatever you have connect to your actual network and that way you can actually begin to get the phone set up so I'm gonna begin doing that and getting the phone set up I just wanted to kinda of give you guys that first look first impressions unboxing of the iPhone 6 in gold 64 gig and just wanted to kind of give you that also first impression comparing it to the iPhone 5s because this has been my daily driver since they released it so coming from somebody like myself who is an Apple owner and a previous Apple driver I use this all the time so it's now nice to compare them hand in hand I can't wait to get using them I can't wait to produce a bunch more videos and show you guys I'll actually be vlogging from the iPhone 6 later on for my vlog channel, so make sure you tune in for that. But yeah, guys, I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show. Just wanted to show you that first look, first unboxing, first impressions, the brand new, highly anticipated iPhone 6. This is the 64 gig model, AT&T. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. If I could, give me a thumbs up on today's video. I'm Ryan Rigg, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.